you said, as busy marketing professionals, we don't give ourselves enough time to study, research, investigate, and most importantly, challenge our assumptions. When we fail to do this, we operate under our old knowledge, and in a rapidly uh, changing world, old knowledge is dangerous. How do you, in your daily work, question your assumptions? Um, there's two ways. One is I have, you know, obviously my own sets of checklists and things to ask myself, are these problems? And actually, if you want to get a head start on this, there's a great free book on Amazon called The Ethics of Data Science by Dr. Hillary Mason. I think it is mandatory reading for anybody who works with data in any in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's totally free. It's not even you know, Kindle Unlimited or anything. It's totally free. Go buy it and read it. Go get it and read it. Um, and two, I do a lot of content creation. Writing my newsletter is how I stay up to date. It is one of my, quote, secrets, right? Because in order to curate content and, and, and stuff and, and build these newsletters, I have to read I have to constantly be keeping up to date. I'm like, what's going on with this thing? I've, I'm looking at uh, my social feed for next week. Um, and there's stuff in here like, huh, I don't recall seeing that. I don't recall seeing that happening. I, I must have missed the news on this you know, particular thing. <clears throat> and in doing that, it keeps me up to date, keeps me you know, fresh and, and, and aware of what, changing, what changes are happening. And because the, the input sources for a lot of uh, the tools I've built are more diverse than just marketing blogs, there's a lot of other stuff that gets, finds its way in here. Like There's a whole piece right now on um, measuring the temperature of meltwater <clears throat> as a proxy for understanding how quickly glaciers and polar ice caps are melting. Like, okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Can I find data on that? Maybe I should go explore that. You know, on a Saturday night or whatever, just go play around and go, huh, there might be something to do this. SEO professionals, all marketing professionals need to be dedicating time every single week in their work um, towards reading and researching towards, you know, reading the top blogs in the field and reading, you know, the not top blogs, you know, doing some digging around, looking at uh, following reliable people on Twitter and seeing what they share. Uh, I think that's one of the things that, again, people forget is that it's when you follow somebody and they're sharing stuff, you're not following just the person, you're following their media diet. You're following what's important to that person. If you follow, you know, Bill Slosky and you follow uh, Danny Sullivan, you follow, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I can't remember, what's her name? Uh, Alida Solis? Yes, thank you. Um, you follow all these folks and see what they share. You start then reading their sources and it helps you bridge out. It's kind of like how you find new music. A friend says, hey, listen to this song. You check out the song. You check out the band. You're like, oh, I like this band. And you, you know, start, re you know, listen to all the new music and stuff. That's how you stay fresh. And it is more important than ever that SEO practitioners be doing this because the underlying technologies that companies like Google are using are changing constantly. Um, they're upgrading, they're, they're doing new stuff. And if you're not following along, you're operating on techniques that may be counterproductive now. They worked five years ago, but they haven't worked in three years. Like, and why would you, why would you keep doing something that doesn't work? Yeah. 